For almost all student athletes, time is a massive issue. Between school, sports, and homework, there's just not enough time in the day. Personally, I have a hard time trying to fit everything into my day. I wake up at 6.45 in the morning and get ready for school for 30 minutes. At 7.15, I go to school for seven hours. After school, it's football practice. Football practice is for three hours, and we leave about, at about 6.10. After I get home, I eat dinner and do my homework, and that takes me to 10.30, because most of the time, I have four hours of homework every night. After my homework, I go, and I'm hungry, so I get a snack. This takes me to 11. Then, brushing my teeth, taking a shower, and making sure I'm 100% ready for the next day normally takes me to midnight. At this point, it's impossible to get the nine and a half hours of sleep that most professionals recommend is needed to stay healthy in high school. This is the problem that almost all high school athletes face every day. No matter what sport it is, it consumes time. This time that is consumed can cause massive amounts of stress towards both school and sports for these athletes. Students trying to make the sports teams while also studying for tests and trying to make good grades causes them to stress. Personally, I haven't hung out with any friends during school days. I feel as if I can't go to the movies with my family, go to dinner with my family. I feel as if I can't even tell my mom how my day went because I don't have enough time. This problem does not just consist with high school athletes either. For those students that don't play a high school sport, they probably still do something. Any extra, extracurricular activity or passion that you pursue takes up valuable time in your day. Football is a huge part of my life. My dad's a coach, and all three of his boys play. I wish I could watch my younger brother play freshman football Thursday nights, but I can't. He plays right after the JV, but in the time that it would take me to watch my brother play a game, I just can't because I have to be doing homework. Friday is undeniably the best day for all st students because it means the weekend. The weekend is great. There's no homework. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Even on the two days that bring joy into every student's lives, there's still an issue with time. My Friday night ends with my varsity game in some faraway town, probably about two hours away. After the game, we drive back, and it's probably close to midnight by the time we get back to the high school. At this point, I sleep at a friend's house. After eating dinner and getting ready for bed, it's normally around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And four hours later, we have to wake up again and come back to the high school for football film review and breakfast. This is the problem that many high school athletes have. So, now that you know that there's an issue with students not having enough time in their day, what, like, what does this cause? What is the issue with this? Studies done by Stanford and Wisconsin University found that not only do students have on average four hours of homework every night, but that only 15% of students get more than seven hours of sleep a night. Another study done by the KU University in Belgium found that students that got an extra hour of sleep the night before did 10% better on an exam than students that got less than seven hours of sleep. This same test concluded that students that got an extra hour of sleep did another 10% better on the same exam. So how do we fix this problem of not having enough time in our day for student athletes? Is it with sports, uh, school, or the homework that we're given? It could be with school. If we took 15 minutes off every period, that's an extra hour that students would have that could potentially be used to sleep. As I've proven earlier, this extra hour could also be accounted for another 10% on a student's exam. What about homework? Do students really need four hours of homework every night? Would three hours of homework not be enough to get done what students need to get done? And then extracurricular activities. Even when football season's not on, it's track season. Football goes all summer and all fall, and track starts right up at the beginning of winter. They even overlap with each other. Track goes all winter and all spring, and even overlaps with football lifting. So there's never a point in the year that I'm not playing a sport. So could something change with these extracurricular activities? Could we button down on the time, make it a little bit less, 
so that students could have less stress. This is a real issue that needs to be addressed for high school athletes to give them more time in their day and relieve their stress.